All right, car number 10. Out of 13 entries, that works for me. Try qualifying. Not all that interested in being a hero at all. I just want to run a clean race here and get some experience. Because it's been a long time since I've run anything like this. I used to run the old Monte Carlo late model a lot. And I ran this one a little bit when it first came out. But it's been a while. Whole different deal from dirt. There's the flag. It's over. Looks like I turned an 18.849 was my best lap on lap two. And the car tends to come in. I forgot to load my paint on, on trading paints, so looking at an old paint. And now I'm 13th, and that's fine too. It's just as if I didn't even qualify. The estimated strength of field is 2,953. Ooh, that's a good strength of field. I'm a, I'm in the 2,300 zone somewhere. Asphalt I rating is 23 something. I look forward to this, and you know maybe we'll run some more. We'll see. I'm just here to here to learn this time. We've already got a crash. They want you in single file. Right, caution is out. Let the pace car by. Gotta wait for the pace car. The pace car is in. It's a completely different animal from dirt. Spend a lot of time, it seemed like, out of the throttle. I am really way off the pace. Got a long way to go to get on the pace. A full second. The setup might not be a ball of fire, but it's not that bad. Not it's not a second off. That's the driver. Yeah. Speeding up a little bit now. I don't know if I'm getting a little better or if the tires are getting a little better. Don't have enough experience race actually racing these cars to. You know what the exactly what the tires do? I think they do get faster for a little while, and then of course they, they begin to fall off as they begin to wear at some point. The leader just 
Okay, I'm about half a second off the pace there. And only about three tenths off the pace now. So that's that's better. Still got a little ways to go. the leader's gonna come up on me at some point here and we'll just kind of watch where he's running and decide where to run him uh, based on that I'm gonna let him have his line that he wants probably go high and let him have the bottom It's a fun car to drive. It has a lot of grip, which, as an entry level stock car, I would expect to, to be the case in real life now. I think I got a little loose there because I was trying to hold the car too low. And the tires are beginning to, you know, have a little wear. You don't want to hold the car low on exit, and that's something I have a bad habit of trying to do. You really want to let it drift right on up to the wall. Uh, I've got to set up something for a brake bias adjustment. I haven't done that yet, and I need to.
All right, just giving these guys plenty of room. Probably lose a little eye rating, uh, but hopefully gain some safety rating. That way I get something out of this, right? I don't wreck. I'm kind of following that white car up there now. I'm running a little bit different. Entering, kind of making the curve a big arc. Entering a little higher. And I'm running about four tenths off the leader's pace right now. And holding pretty steady with that, so it's it's not good, but at least I am running a steady pace. And I'm gonna have to move up again and let these guys on the a lap ahead of me let them get by. Wow, halfway through. These are long races. Oh, we got a caution. It doesn't look like I got any tires. It's grayed out. Let's see if I can check the box. No, okay. I don't think we can change tires anyway. And I've moved up to 12 because somebody dropped out and left. <laughs> No. 
This is a pretty amazing racetrack. It's only a half mile, but it's just huge. I mean, you know, really wide, like a big half mile. It's got a good shape. Dog leg in the front stretch. Well, sort of a curved front stretch. Four tenths off. I'm just not. I'm gonna have to practice. I'm gonna have to try to get some advice on the line here and practice that the proper line. I don't really know where I'm missing it. Try running in higher and coming off lower. Come off a little straighter or something there. Probably a little bit different on each end because the straightaway is different. Straightaways are different. I mean, I feel like I'm pushing pretty hard. See some smoke. Somebody's pushing even harder. I might actually be gaining on the 13. It looks like I might be a little bit. Kind of holding steady on the distance at least.
Now I'm about three tenths off. Well, four tenths again. Got about fifteen to go. And I am gaining just a little on the thirteen. I'm never gonna catch him before the race is over, but it's good to know that I'm picking up a little speed here toward the end. I know my setup is decent. The tires have held up really well. The car is still sticking right to the track. I think if I, if I decide to run these regularly, I could probably get decent in them. Team three, that's a bit off from where I was. Nineteen point zero six three. There we go, back to the zeros. And the thirteen gets a little bit closer in my windshield. I was two seconds, now I'm 1.3 behind. I don't want to push too hard. got the six car doing battle with the 13 and they may be kind of slowing each other down running side by side which is I guess you'd say is good for me but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pass anybody we get single file and speed up again Probably having some kind of a handling issue, may have had some damage. to actually make a legit pass. I don't know how. And the 13 got on the apron there. I was afraid he was going to lose it. I guess the apron is not a, a race ender here like it is in some places.
And that is going to do it. Checkered flag. I managed an 11th place finish. And felt pretty good about that, actually. Considering. And there might be a couple of incidents there. Oh. Oh. And that was the one car that went around. For some reason, I thought it was the three. Right on the start. I'm going to take a look at that again. That was... Uh, the three got a bump. And the one car came up the track. I don't know... I'm not going to assign any blame. It looks seemed like, you know, he was... Coming up, maybe he should have stayed low. Maybe the car on the outside should have moved up more. I don't know. I don't think we're going to see a lot of stuff here. Stuff like that. Just a little wall brush. Going to be pretty frequent. And a big wall brush. Here's a good race going on. Lap 22. This is for 8th position. A little side-by-side -side racing. They bump, they touch a little bit. Oh, they touch a little bit more. I believe the guys are trying to stay off of each other. They're just, you know, it's racing. It's short track racing. A little bit of bump is expected. Lap 40. Continuing with the... Oh, oh. And that's where the caution came from on lap 40. Car number 9 took a spin. Looks like the front stretch. Coming out of 4, 13. Nailed the wall pretty good there, but he held on and had a, a decent race. Look at this race. The 12, the 11, the 6. Really close. Oh, that's not good. Three car pancake the side. And that's the end. Now I probably lost some I rating and I hope I gained some safety rating. I don't think I had a single incident in the entire event. We'll take a look. Here's the UI. That was the top split. Lost 40 I rating, so I'm at 23.23 on the I rating. I gained 0.24 safety rating, almost up to a 4 now. Okay, guys, that was a pretty long race, so I'm going to cut out of here. I do appreciate uh, you tuning in for the live stream and also those who tune in for the video. Hope you can subscribe to me.